A dire warning this morning from climate experts. A UN panel says governments around the world must take rapid action to curb rising temperatures, or else millions around the world face future disaster. A record-breaking heat wave, and things just keep getting worse. Wildfires rage as far north as the Arctic Circle. A suffocating severe heat wave. Things like tornadoes, which you normally don't get. At least 24 deaths have been blamed on the storm. Record rainfall is devastating entire communities. My neighbor called me up and he was like, the fire's at the edge of our community. And he said, I'm going to go out there right now with some shovels and a hose to try and put the fires out. They spent a lot of time on raking and cleaning. Thinning our forests or raking the forest. <laughs> Hey, Mr. President, listen to the scientists. Climate change is real. It is already causing devastating problems in our country and around the world. I know from the facts as a senior climate scientist that climate change is real and it's affecting us now. The good news is that all over the world, people are beginning to figure that out and beginning to step up. There are alternatives to using intensive carbon-based fuels. We should be moving in that direction. Never before has there been such a unified issue is climate change. The time is now. We don't have any more time. It's all about everyday people coming together and believing in their ability to change this country. For me, that has meant plugging my voice into the legal and the justice system to hold our government accountable. I'm willing to go to prison for this planet, and I'm willing to go again and again and again until I see some results, until we all see a better world. The hope is in the resistance. Who will stand with me now? for mine and future generations to inherit a healthy, just, and sustainable planet who will stand with me now. Stop it!